I am a member of the National Technical Working Group on the new merit selection process. Perhaps early next year, this will be implemented. So promotion will no longer be through natural vacancy. All promotions will be through reclassification. So there will now be teacher one, teacher two, teacher three, teacher four, teacher five, teacher six, up to teacher seven, then master teacher one, up to master teacher five. So I hope our teachers are ready for this new merit selection process. What do they need to do? They need to take up professional studies. Huh? They must have at least 18 units of professional studies. They must have innovations. So if they if they if they study if they study if they take professional studies, it is not enough that they take professional studies. For every unit, they must have an output. Huh? For the participation and trainings, it is not enough for them to have the certificate of attendance. What is required in the new merit selection is after the participation in a particular training, what is the capstone project or what is the output? Okay, so what else? Innovation is also part of the new merit selection process. Huh? So we need to uh, encourage our teachers to think of new ways uh, uh, on how to improve the teaching learning process. Okay. Uh, head there will be no more head teachers. Head teachers will be reclassified to uh, teacher seven, teacher six, teacher five. Uh, but school heads will remain as school heads principals, principal one to four. Okay, assistant principals will remain. But head teachers will be reclassified to teachers uh, four, five, and six. And head teachers will also be given teaching loads when the new merit selection process. And if, ma if a master teacher is vacant, it will be scrapped and it will go back to teacher one. So we will not be waiting for natural vacancies. Every teacher must, uh, must upgrade his or her skills in order to be promoted. Uh, you, we will not be competing with one another. Okay. Okay. For master teachers, still there is number of teachers, but for every three teachers in uh, a school, the school is entitled to one master teacher. So there will be more master teachers now. But the selection process is so tight that early on, uh, teachers, you encourage now teachers to do innovative projects, no? uh, demonstrate. Uh, they need to be demonstration teachers. They need to come up with instructional materials uh, so that they will be promoted. Okay. So, uh, when this is finalized, uh, I can explain it further. But the point that I'm driving at now is this is the future. No? Uh, and we have to get ready. We need to be ahead of the future. So, prepare our teachers. Prepare them. Uh, uh, encourage them to enroll in professional studies.